What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is uh, Cricket 19's T20 Veterans League 2021. Today, it's Wellington Firebirds versus Multan Sultans. Multan Sultans have only lost one game so far. Same as Wellington Firebirds. Both teams are doing really well. Multan is being dubbed by most as the favorite to win the league. And they are, at the moment, the way they're playing, I mean, they're definitely up there with the best. Although Central Stag seems to be running away with it. But yeah, it's looking good for both these sides. It's going to be a good matchup. Multan Sultan coach is Ahmed. He'll be in the comments down below. Wellington Firebirds coach is... Uh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Uh, Parav, that's it. That's the one I just remembered. Uh, so yeah, game number 21. Let's get, jump into it. If you want to participate in leagues like this in the future, become a channel member and follow my social media uh, uh, accounts. That's where I'll be contacting you. That's very important. But here we go into the game. Ranjiv Gandhi Stadium is where it will take place. There are two lineups who are unfamiliar with how the lineups were uh, picked by the coaches. Click on the II icon in the top right corner and then watch the draft video. Or you can check out the description as well. I've put a little summary there of uh, the selection process there as well. And uh, yeah, then come right back. Here we go. Multan Sultans have won the toss. MS Dhoni versus VK. It's going to be quite a, quite a match here. Two legendary captains from India. Multan to ball first. Jimmy Anderson to open a bowling for Multan. It's Shikhar Dhawan. Oh, well, he's gone first delivery. Jimmy from England have struck. And that's the end of Shikhar Dhawan. The Indo Park partnership has been broken. And guess what? It's an Englishman, like always, to break it. Anyways, Shikhar Dhawan gone for a golden duck, but nothing to worry about because the next batsman is also Indian, so the Indian Park partnership continues. Yes. Virat goes over Miroff. Lovely shot. Pretty much come out of first delivery, he's faced well. Yeah, I was saying first delivery, VK face, he got a boundary, and now Hafiz have gotten a boundary of the first delivery as well. Top edge, off his helmet, that might be the end, that is the end for Virat Kohli, that's not looking good for Wellington Firebirds. The Firebirds are uh, burning, and normally that's good, but in this occasion, well it's turning out to be hurting the birds. How does fire hurt Firebirds? That doesn't make any sense. Well, I suppose weirder things have happened on this channel. Rohit Sharma though, look at that, he had to sprint for that one, he's not one who likes running all that much, or sprinting, <laughs> VK gone for 5 of 3 deliveries only, not a great start to the game for Wellington, skipper gone, Suresh Rana, the other Indian to walk into the mix, I love this, you know, they keep getting wickets, but the Indian Park partnership keeps going, it's still Indo Park. Yep. No first slip. And that'll be another boundary. Two back to back boundaries for Suresh Rana. Great side of the game. Yep. That's a lovely hook. Over square leg. A couple of bounces and onto the rope it goes for four runs. Fees has been quiet. Well, there he goes. He's quiet no more. Goes over cover and collects four runs. Oh, there it is. He's smacked that one. Lovely hook into the gap. Oh, Fielder does really well to stop that from hitting the boundary. He's come back for a third or fourth, that is. I think it's third. Yeah, it's third. Very good running there from Suresh Raina. And speaking of running, good running from Raina. Well, there he goes. Ah, too wide. Not a great delivery from Morgul. Giving him way too much room. If there's width on off, Hafiz will punish you. It's a lovely shot over. Extra cover from Hafiz. Now he's finding his groove. He's started to get going now. Groove him at a groove him at a. Ah, straight on, lovely. Reiner. 
Well, he came out swinging and he's uh, going strong still. Oh, a lovely shot from Hafiz. Such a fantastic shot. Very difficult to execute, but he's made it look easy. Oh, straight to Shortman. Wicked. He's not. Oh, he's dropped it. Uh oh, there's a fielder. Lens just in front of him. Luckily for the batsman, it did not carry. That's 50 partnership between these two. They're recovering well after losing two early wickets. Oh no. Suresh Rana trying to hoist that one away. Look at that. Bent the knee as well. Got a bit of bat on it, but unluckily that was his undoing because that made the ball hit the stumps. I think he would have been stumped out anyways because it's Emma Zdoni behind the sticks and we all know how lightning quick he is. But a uh, good innings. Aggressive innings comes to an end. Well, look at that. We have another partnership going. East and West Pakistan. <laughs> Turned quite a lot. How do Bajan sing? Breaks that partnership. There's a comment to be made there as well, but uh, you know, it's all right. It's part of the game. A feast. 33 of 28. Now that is a good innings, but he is much better than that. He normally goes at a much higher strike rate than that. Kieran Pollard, the West Indian, comes in next. Oh, lovely. That's a four. Don't even worry about that one. He scooped that one over the inner circle. Easy pickings for him. Catch. One bounce and four runs. Mashfigur Rahim. Switcheroo down to Kieran Pollard. Uh oh, uh oh. Bon. That's the end of Mashfiqur Rahim. Yeah. Wellington recovered a little bit with the help of Suresh and Hafiz, but now that those two are gone, they continue on their um, bad start to the game. I mean, it's just. I don't know if it's Multan who's too good or what's going on here, but Wellington Firebirds are uh, not looking good. It's another wicket down and a very important wicket of Mashfiq Rahim as well. We all know how good of a batsman he is. Wellington does have a lot of batsmen though. That's not out. It's out of off. I think it's going to go on to hit the stumps. But according to the current rules, that's not enough. It has to be in line as well. They must only having a chat with Rohit Sharma, the Triangle of Indians, right there. Yep, outside of off. I think it's going to go into the middle stump, actually, yeah, because that turned real sharp. Yeah, look at that. That is a ridiculous amount of spin right there. Yep, it is hitting the middle stump. Middle and leg. And so it will remain not out. Ah, oh, there it is. This time it's done the trick. That sharp turn has beaten him. And the weird thing about this is if that had hit the pad instead of the wicket, that would have been given not out, which is why I think the impact rule is a bullshit rule. Harbhajan Singh and an incredible delivery, much like the last one, but he couldn't get a wicket with that one. He's got one here, though. Erfan Patan, seeing him in action after a long time. It's good to see him back. He was injured most last year. He was meant to play in the Sri Lankan League. It's a lovely shot into extra cover. That'll be four runs for Erfan Patan. 10 of 8 for Patan. Ooh, lovely. That was a very good delivery. I thought that might be the end of Erfan Patan, but... Being a pace bowler himself, I think he read it. He knew what he was doing. 
Oh, a lovely shot from Ashwin. Ravichandran Ashwin. Straight down the ground for four runs. Brilliant. Yes. Oh, what a shot. That is too good. Irfan Patan. He's going at a very good rate at the moment. Yes. Ah. Tried for the wide Yorker. Went a bit too full. Made it into a wide full toss instead. Made it easier for Irfan Patan to put away. Oh, well, that's just poor. Way too much room on offer. Missed the length as well. Yuvraj has been given another over here. And, well, he's been welcomed by a fellow Indian who is also a spinner. Yes. Ooh, leg lance at hurts. How has he managed to pull that one off? Oh, wow. Failing, eh? It's the Pakistani effect. <laughs> wow, okay. Yes. Is that another misfield? Oh my goodness. Who what is he doing? Who is that guy? Oh, he might have actually turned that into a run out. No, he's fine. That is so poor. Erfan Patan though getting close to his uh half ton, but unfortunately. Not enough time to complete it. A very in a very good recovery. I mean, didn't look like they weren't even going to touch 120, but then Hafiz and uh, who was it, Suresh Raina, they started the recovery, and then Patan and Ashwin at the end, specifically Patan, finished it off in style. 167 is quite a lot of runs, but it is Multan they're going up against. They've scored 200 more than once. The only team to score 200, by the way, and twice they've done it, so... Here we go. Stark to Rohit. It's just a dot they start off, off with. Yep. Rohit the hitman gets his first boundary of the day. So I didn't notice this. Rohit Sharma is playing with the number two. He normally plays with the number 45. Someone in the comments mentioned it and said that that is the reason behind his bad form. It could be. I'm not that superstitious. I don't really believe that, but it could be. You never know. It's a lovely shot over cover from the hitman. 14, he moves on two of nine. Finney, not too happy with that. Ah, uh, nicks it. No first lip, that'll fly off. That's gone, four. He'll take it, 18 of 10. Oh, that is such a cheeky shot from Hashim Amla. Hashim Amla has been so good for Multan this season. He's been one of the better batsmen on their side. Him and Shane Watson. That's a lovely shot from Amla over cover. Here we go, double digits, gang. 11 of 6. Such a brilliant shot, and he's found the rope as well, Rohit, the hitman. 22, he moves on to. Shot, 26. Don't bother. Save your legs. That's gone. 26 of 14 for Rohit, the hitman, Sharma. Oh, that's a lovely shot over Miroff. Bio Amla. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, lovely shot from the Hitman. Goes straight as an arrow. 32 of 18 deliveries for Hitman. Oh, leg lance of turds. Fielders coming under it. Not a good sight. Oh, now he's gone. 33 of 20. That's pretty good in a T20, I would say. But we know Rohit Sharma to be much better than that. We know he can score 50, even 100 in T20s. He has done them in the, before. It's a good catch, a low catch. He threw sprint after that one. Boyd Rankin, and this is a very tall bloke as well. For him to take a low catch like that, it's very difficult. The taller you are, the harder it is when you have to go down. Oh, what a shot from Amla. 
All right, Multan's two star batsmen are on strike at the moment, Hashim Amla and Shane Watson. These two are the one to watch out for. Yeah, they will take the game away from you if the, if the Firebirds don't do anything about them right now. Uh-oh. Oh no, I thought there might be a run out right there. Oh, that's out. That's Amla gone. So that's the first one down. Yeah! Ravi Ashwin with the all-important wicket of Hashim Amla. The man in top form. The man getting so many runs this season for Multan. He's gone. He was looking very dangerous here today as well. Sharma was looking very good as well. He's gone as well. But the thing about Multan is they've got such a deep batting order. What a shot. That is just brilliant. Four runs for AB de Villiers. I was reading a comment. They were saying turn. Oh, don't forget about the comment. That's ABD gone. Lovely. Ashwin strikes again. Is he going to be the man of the match here? He's got two very important wickets. A wicket of uh, Hashim Amla and now of ABD. Mr. 360 himself has gone for just seven of six. Oh my. But yeah, I was saying, I read a comment about, you know, turning the radar off the fielding radar. That'll only make the game difficult. Well, that's a lovely shot. That's beaten the fielder as well. But turning the radar off. Lovely shot into extra cover. Dhoni gets four runs. Should I do it? Should I turn the field radar off? Because I'm not playing, so I don't know how that'll change things. Well, I won't know where the fielders are. Oh, that's a lovely shot. It's a very good shot from Shane Watson. That'll be four runs. Oh, what a delivery! Out swinging, that's the end of Shane Watson, the highest run scorer for Multan. So two of the highest run scorers for Multan are now gone. Watto the highest, Hashim Amla the second highest, both gone. And neither of them scored high runs, high amount of runs. Multan might be in trouble, but like I said, they've got such a deep batting order. Nicked it, oh my, that was a loose delivery. Short and wide, that should have been dispatched. And it's to Yuvraj Singh as well. He loves him like that. He loves getting a bit of room. He loves going over cover, over point. He's so good at playing those shots. How has he miscued that one? That's another wicked gun. Is this it? Is this it? Are the, are the Firebirds going to go through Multan? and climb to the top, Shahid Afridi next in. Ah, oh, that's not gonna cut it, that's not gonna cut it, not against Dhoni. That's gone for four, 72 required now. Too short, he's hooked it, straight to the fielder though. Uh-oh, no, 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 that's a run out, that's a run out. That's a run out. It's like they don't wanna win, man. Is this the first time we're seeing Multan crumble? I mean, we have seen him lose before. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about completely crashing. Mastoni gone. That's a big wicket right there. Sultan so Veer, next man in. Ah, oh, full toss is not going to cut it. Tanvir has smacked that one away. Let's four runs. Straight down the bowler. Head. That's gone. Four runs. And Veer's looking pretty good. He has that ability to smash boundaries, you know. Next hit. Oh, that's the end of a freebie as well. Okay. Multan's in a lot of trouble. Yes, they've got a deep batting goda. Yes, they've still got Tilt and Veer who can score some runs as well. Yes, they've got Harbhajan Singh who can score some as well. We've got Umar Gul, 
He's known as the Goldozer for a reason. He can smack a couple big ones as well. But I doubt they will if Rohit Sharma couldn't do it, if Hashimamla couldn't do it, if ABD couldn't do it, MS Dhoni, Yuvrat Singh, Shane Watson, Afridi. Well, how are these Tailenders going to do it? We're about to find out, I guess. Harbhajan Singh, next man in. Slap that one over backwards point and four runs. Told you they can get boundaries, these uh, tailenders. He's taking him on. I don't think he's got all of it. That might be the end of Sir Hale Tanvir. That is the end of Sir Hale Tanvir. Hafiz it is. He's struck here. Virat Kohli takes the catch, Hafiz bowls it. The model, player models of these two players, Hafiz and Virat, look very similar, don't they? But here we go, Goldozer next in. Shot, lovely. Oh no, not so lovely. <laughs> Couldn't clear the cover field, and look at him, he is very upset with himself. If that had gone over that cover fielder, though, that would have been a boundary. That would have brought them right back into the game because they just need 20 runs of 10 deliveries. Then they would have need 16 of 10. Going for four years of three deliveries. Now they're on their last wicket. Jimmy, well, I don't know if he can bat. Let's take him on, Harbhajan. Gonna push for two because Budgie would want to be on strike. He is. All right. Lovely dive there. The aim has to be Harbhajan with as much strike will. <laughs> That's the end of that. Mitsa comes around the wicket, gets him out in quite similar fashion as uh, Umar Gul. Cover fielder. Uh? Trap was set. He's got him. And that's that. Wellington Firebirds have won by 26 runs. When I tell you, there is no telling which way the games will go. Just because a team started off well doesn't mean they're going to continue on doing well. Unless their team is central stags, in which case, well, they are going strong. Here are the highest wicket taker, Harbhajan Singh, just running away with it. Imran Tahir trying to catch up. 239 for Johnny Bairstow. AB DeVille. Oh, AB DeVille just have scored more than Hashim Amla. I didn't realize that. But here we go, here's the table. Wellington Firebirds, I think, have secured a place in the playoffs. Multan have not yet secured a place in the playoffs. They need to win one more game to completely secure it. They can qualify with eight points, even if they lose the rest of the games, but then they'll need to have a high net run rate, which they do pretty much, you know, their net run rate is pretty good. I mean, other than Central Stags, they've got the highest run rate. And the only reason Central Stags the highest run rate is because they haven't lost a game. So there's that. Anyways, do let me know who do you think is going to finish top four, who's going to be the highest run scorer, who's going to be the highest wicket taker. And what do you think about that comment about field radar? Should I turn it off? I mean, it'll make the commentary a little difficult for me. So it might create like funny moments because I would say like, oh, that's a brilliant shot. And then there'll be a fielder there taking the catch. And I'll be like, oh, I guess not so brilliant. I mean, I still do that sometimes. But, you know, it'll happen a lot more then. So do let me know what you think about that. I might try it for one game. We'll see. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice.